Welcome to Bomb Squad Elite, a single-player 2D top-down race against the clock game. That's right, there's a time limit, and you're going to need to make it if you want to live. There's not going to be any physical combat in this game, so there's not going to be any players to fight, no enemies to fight. It's just going to be fight against time. This is what your basic layout of the levels is going to be. It's going to be the top-down, where you spawn at different locations. Every time you play the map, your items are going to spawn in different locations. So if you play the same map again after you fail, then everything changes place. So you won't be able to memorize where everything's at. The uh, hidden exit is not going to be marked on the map. It's hidden. This is just an example. That's why it has the circle with the line going through it. This is what it's, you're going to be seeing when you're playing the game. You're going to have your top HUD, which is going to have your items found, your timer on the bomb, what level you are, and your stamina level. Your stamina level is going to play a main part because if you run low, you're going to have to walk, which is going to cause you to waste time pretty much. So run when you need to, walk when you need to. Down at the bottom, it's going to show you which items you've accumulated so far. Whenever you enter a building, it's going to turn to a hidden object find where you have a tactical glove and you find whatever items you're looking for that you have not yet found. Um, like, for instance, there's a piece of paper on the table, so that could be the diagram. Click on it, and it'll tell you whether or not that's the right one or not. About every five minutes in the game, your terrorist buddy's going to pop up laughing at you. He moved the bomb on you. Now you're going to have to waste time trying to find the bomb again as you're still looking for your items. You do not need all the pieces to disarm the bomb. You do need the key and the exit to make a quick escape if you happen to come across those. All you need to disarm the bomb is wire cutters, but the diagram is going to tell you which wire to cut and the magnifying goggles are going to help you in seeing the bomb a little bit closer so you don't accidentally cut the wrong wire. This is what the diagram is basically going to look like. And it's going to give you multiple choices, but you have to really read it and not get into a hurry. That way it tells you which wire you definitely have to cut. This is the way it's going to look when you're diffusing the bomb. You're going to have your wire cutters, which is going to be basically your icon to move around the screen. If you do not have your magnifying goggles, this is going to be a little bit further out, making it a little difficult. Make sure you're cutting the right wire. You cut the wrong wire, you're dead. You have to start over. Cut the right wire. It's going to accumulate what points you've got out of what items you've found, and then it'll move you to the next level. Similar games are going to be Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. That's going to be your bomb disarming por portion. Haunted House Escape Rosecliff is going to be your item find. And then Escape from Ravenhurst, that's going to be your hidden object find whenever you are inside a building and finding the objects. The biggest risks on this are going to be the maps. Getting all of them done and getting a big enough map to where it's more of a challenge in the time period. I think is going to be one of the one of our biggest risks because it's going to be a main focus that we're really going to have to focus on. Um, character features, not so much. Um, it's going to be uh, making sure that the glove moves around properly to click on something and make sure that the character moves the way he's supposed to as he's running across the map from a 2D top-down view. Getting done within the time limit, I think, is another risk. So we're really going to have to buckle down and focus down on certain aspects and get it done. Really appreciate you listening to my pitch. Thank you again.